Today we're going to be farming some red shards. This is a gameplay, long play, let's play, whatever you want to call it. And we're doing it on World Tier 3 because I'm lazy and haven't unlocked World Tier 4 yet. Even though it says level 70, I can totally just smoke that dungeon. My character is pretty damned powerful and optimized, but there's still a lot to go. I have not been leveling glyphs or doing much of anything. I've just been going to the PvP zones because that's why I play video games is to encounter other players and mess with them. And yes, I do have a queue and that's okay. I don't have a queue anymore. So we're going to be farming the hell out of red shards and we're going to see how many we can farm uh, today. So first off, I'm just going to pop something up on the screen. Uh, let's see. Starting red shards is 112,100. Ending red shards. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So there we go. We have the red shards count. Now to farm red shards more efficiently, we need to flag up for PvP by marking ourselves for our blood. We are blood marked. Let's go. Let's begin the farming session, and we start with a baleful chest. If you uh, if you want to know the fastest way to farm these, uh, these uh, <laughs> whatever they're called, the shards, then I have a video explaining exactly what I'm doing on screen here for you. And uh, also, for those that are kind of uh, have weak characters or you're not confident in your abilities to fight other players, I also have a video on how to farm these exact same shards. Crest of Rathma, what is that? A cosmetic trophy for your mount. Hey, I just got a skin. Very rare drop. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> that's nice. I'm going to make that text go away for you so it's not just clogging up the screen. But uh, I am using a Whirlwind Barbarian uh, for today's farming session. And uh, I haven't fully worked out the build yet. But let's check the map. Do we have a Seethe? There is no Seething monsters on the map. And yes, I should have picked up that, that sword. But oh well. <laughs> it's just a crappy rare anyway. It's not an upgrade, don't worry. <laughs> and uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna be killing the elite mobs. So I'm just using whirlwind. I'm a whirlwind barbarian, pretty standard. Uh, I have you know maybe altered the build slightly compared to what you'll find online. I'm not really confident with my alterations yet. I'm still testing and you know getting a feel for it. So I'm not gonna really publish a build guide for it just yet. But today's farm sesh again. We're killing the elites because they give XP. They give drops, and they give seeds. They don't give as much seeds as the chest. It's actually fast for seed farming. It's way faster just to not to kill the elites, but then I'm not leveling my character up, and then that would make me sad. Uh, it looks like a little happy face. Look on the screen. There's two eyes and a little, a little smiley face. Look at that. And then my, my cursor is the nose. Look at that. Isn't that funny? Uh, I just see things like that. I know. It's silly. Whatever. There's a baleful chest here. Yeah, grab those seeds. Don't get dismounted, though. Oh, no, the maggots. They dismounted me. <laughs> it's fine. It's not like they can do much. I'm gonna go see if there's an event over here. Also checking for the sea of the monster. No sea of the monster, no event. 18 seconds on my mount's cooldown, man. And spiders like to root you. They're really, they're bullies. Spiders are just big bullies. They're not cute little, you know, creatures that will knit you, you know, sweaters for your baby. Like in an anime that I watched about farming life. I forget the name, but, um... Dude, you know, dude gets reincarnated or, or sent to another world and he just wants to farm. He's got like a little spider bro that'll knit him sweaters and clothing and beddings and stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's actually a horrendous harem anime, oh my god. Talk about anime and playing Diablo, that's the life for me, man. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna run, we're gonna run our butts down here. Grab some chests, no chest on either of those ledges. What about, uh, you know what, we'll go ahead and take these dudes. This one likes to run around, though. Give me the seeds. Give me the seeds of hatred. Because, you know, hatred seeds. That sounds like a fun plant. Why can't plants have cool names in the real world, you know? Like, people would be way more into gardening and growing things if it was more intense. Like, instead of, you know, a potato, you grew a, a flower of the damned or something. <laughs> oh... All right, we're up to 8.6 thousand seeds, and I know a lot of you guys are like, Oh, turn it in! You're gonna get ganked! You're gonna die! I've rarely been killed. There's been like three people in the entire game that have killed me so far. And, uh, I'm not afraid of other players. I can kill groups of players. I am pretty optimized. I am so, like, I'm so optimized, I don't even look at rare stats anymore on items. I only look at uniques, because, um, unless they have the fourth implicit that I need, there's, there's no reason to even bother with them. <laughs> 
All right. Not a lot of chests this run. You know, kind of weird, but uh, that's fine. Go ahead and uh, grab the rares. And you can see my, like, uh, you know, if you want to see how much XP this session earns, just look at the length of the video and then check my XP bar down here at the bottom. I'm level 60. You know, wish that was the level cap. You know, that's like old school World of Warcraft for me. Any of you guys play WoW Classic? Or am I just old? <laughs> and I, well, okay. N n uh, not, no, WoW Vanilla. Let's say that. Did you play WoW Vanilla? All right. Uh, WoW Classic and WoW Vanilla were two very different experiences. We have a Sacred Sword just dropped. Very cool. So I, I do check the stats of the, of the, of the legendaries. Uh, right. Ra Pierre, I have to say it weirdly because YouTube doesn't like certain words. That's just, you know, YouTube being a big baby about it, but <laughs> I don't want to say that sword's name. It, uh, it, I used to play New World, and saying the sword name in that game caused some problems. <laughs> oh man, look at all these summons. This is just XP out the wazoo. It's nice. It's good XP, you know, and if I get into a fight, I can steal other people's seeds. Not a big deal. Uh... Yeah, all right, so we have 11.5k. It's time to turn in. You know, that's almost four gambles right there, and it's only been six minutes, including the login screen, so not bad. I kind of want, you know, I, I want an even 12k, though. I'm greedy. I'm greedy like that, guys. And uh, there we go. 11.9, fine, whatever. We'll, we'll just settle. We'll just se settle for 11.9. Still no Seed Monster on the map. Uh, there are three events. I need to fill up my Whispers of the Dead. I haven't done that today. What about the other PvP zone? Is it is it looking Gucci? No, just Purified. That's another. That's an easy three. Three Seeds there. And uh, I'm not a Thorns build. I miss being a Thorns build because these things would just instantly off themselves when they touch me. Like, they would run up and poke their tails in my face like a happy kitten. And then they would just flop over dead. But now they only take 624 damage, so... Uh, which is really interesting. I, I want to note, I just learned this actually just now on the Paragon board. I put a point into the magic node here and got 6.3 physical damage. Apparently, thorns is physical damage because these were only thornsing for about 500. That means if you want to make a thorns build, you got to focus on fizz damage nodes on the Paragon board. That Paragon board is crazy. Uh, for those that don't know, it, you can rotate the boards and like there's so many different crazy builds. So there we go, we farmed almost 12k um, <laughs> shards in 7 minutes, 8 minutes, whatever. It, it's it's a good farm. Let's go check down here, I want to see what kind of farm this is. No, it's the ghost, that takes too long. Is someone there? Nope, nope, just look away guys. I'm not here, oh there's an event going on. Uh, okay, those are really good, man. I don't want to miss that, because oh, that is really good XP and loot and gear. It is phenomenal so we might do that i know this video is going to be titled farming red shards but um like i said my gear is so good i don't even look at rares anymore i don't need them i only look at the unique or the the legendaries i thought i had more legendaries oh well let's see so this is obviously no that's pretty garbage uh we salvage those we don't vendor because we get to the uh little beautiful fragments which will be very useful when making alt characters uh, so now it's time to see if that event persists. When I log out and log back in, um, go. <laughs> I have a video on my channel you can watch on why I'm doing this, but essentially it resets the chest so I can refarm them. But I'm going to see if that event north of where my character is is, is going to persist uh, so that I can go farm it. And I just want to give you guys a tip for PC users. I know console users are going to rage at me, but yes, it is persisting. Console users are going to rage at me, but... Bros, PC guys, go to options, go to social, turn off cross-network play. The quality of players that you will find are far higher when you do this. And that means they're going to be better at the game. Which means this little event that's happening here in 3 minutes and 30 seconds, you're going to just smoke it. You're just going to absolutely blow, blow it the hell out. So 3 minutes, I can farm a few chests in that time. Let's get to it. I can show up to the event a little late and still get credit for it. I don't have to be there to farm the whole thing. Oh, I'm not bloodmarked. That's why I gotta bloodmark myself. Um, there we go. I'm bloodmarked now. Let me open the chest. <laughs> yeah, you have to be flagged for PvP to open chests. Isn't that fun? I think that's a cool mechanic. You know, I really wish a game, another game that I play had that mechanic, like a game called Albion Online, where it's like 
Well, the, the game kind of has a similar mechanic. It, like, a, a PvP circle spawns around a chest, and then when the timer runs out, everyone fights for it. But it's just usually whoever has the bigger guild gets the chest, or who has the most friends, or who has the most healers on their team. And, uh, you know, as a solo player, I don't really have any of that as an option for me. So, um, I never really get those chests very often. Uh, unless it's the yellow zone. Then I come in strapped to the nines with the best gear in the game. And I just smash everybody that also doesn't have the best gear in the game. Very fun. Very fun full loot PvP game, you know. Y'all should check it out sometimes. Uh, but we're just uh, we're just grabbing some baleful chests here. Not too many, because I want to go to that event up top and get me some fat loot. And uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and turn in this 3.5k. I know, it's not that big. But uh, that event does start in two minutes. And there is... I don't have a waypoint that's near that, really. Uh, and this will be one minute, you know, just waiting for this. That's fine. Whatever. Look, I'm about to level up to... I'm about to, about to be 61, guys. I know, that's old for a barbarian, but it's you know, 61 levels young. You know, you get to live to the ripe old age of 100. So, uh, if you ever hear my sound cut out like this, it's because I'm alt-tabbing and checking other things. Um, so I like to read my YouTube comments sometimes when I'm doing these Let's Plays, and, um... Someone with a name I can't read because it's in Russian told me to go to a psych psychotherapist. I, th I think he means therapist. <laughs> uh, and, uh, wow, someone left a comment on a really old PS1 Let's Play I did. That's fun. Very cool for that guy. Uh, <laughs> he says it's a great walkthrough, and um, it he feels the 90s nostalgia. So, look, I gotta go to that event, boys, boyos. And, oh, you know what? I might have been closer from here, actually. That's fine. You know, we're just gonna ride there on our mounts. We're gonna show up a little bit late. It's it's you know it's gonna take them a while to clear everything, and when I show up, they'll clear it even faster. That that's that is if there's even anyone there. You know, <laughs> uh, lately I haven't seen anyone in a while. In the like in the PVP zones, there was it was flooded with people, and now I never see anyone. I don't know if everyone got bullied out or what. I mean, it, me and like all the other barbarians just kept killing every. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That's a, that's a dead end. I have to follow the marker. But, uh, yeah, like, me, Whirlwind Barbarians just own the PvP scene, man. It's nutty. Every, <laughs> if you're not a Whirlwind Barbarian, there's nothing you can really do. I've seen one Druid that can tank a few hits and hit really hard with poison. There was also a Whirlwind Barbarian that was hitting with poison. I don't know how he did it. But um, it's interesting, though. It is very interesting. Oh, no, someone, old man Samson, was slain by a beast. Poor Samson, guys. Man, there was an old PS1 game in the 90s, uh, and there was a character called Samson. That's that's what that name reminds me of. I know it's like a biblical name or something. I'm not a religious guy, but... Uh, there we go. Uh, am I the only one here? Oh, oh no, boyos. I have to solo the event myself. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, I'm pretty powerful, you know? I like to think of myself as a powerful gamer. Surely other people might show up, or am I just so late that no one's here? Where is everybody? Is Blizzard servers, are they okay? Okay, here's two other players. We got some backup now. And uh, we're just gonna, you know, run to each zone, try to beat people, beat these shamans in as fast as possible. I know this is not shard farming, but um, I have to do it because uh, you know, that's how this game, this is how this game keeps you playing, you know? You're like a, you're like a 12 year old kid, it's a school night, and uh, you know, your, your mom's yelling at you to go to bed, and you're like, no mom, five more minutes, I'm doing an event, I'm gonna get lots of loot mom, please, but, but, uh, you know, turns out your mom is also a diablo here, and she's like, okay, I'm gonna log in and help you out, son, that would be the coolest parent ever, right, not the parent that's like, oh, video game's bad, ooh, diablo, that's satanist, you're a satanist son, oh, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell the school that my son practices satanism, and, that never happened, by the way. You know, my mom didn't give a shit. <laughs> she knew it was a fucking video game. Uh, oh no, someone in the local chat said my content is trash. Look at that, I'm already recognized in this game. I only have like 17 videos out and people already know who I am. How so? <laughs> Let's argue with them. I like how they abandoned the, the little thingy here. I'm like, <laughs> oh. Uh, I get recognized in every game I play these days. I'm such a huge troll in YouTuber. I, I, okay, I'm not that big of a YouTuber. He says I'm ra I am not racist. I am richest. Rich people, bad, okay? Like, what is he- what the hell? This is just some- some random internet hater, dude. <laughs> He's a Redditor. Uh. 
Um, everyone just kind of left to go to the middle. I guess I'll kill- I'll solo this little area then, whatever. <laughs> uh, this dude came in spell, he's typing like a four-year-old. So yeah, we got some banter in the chat, lads. <laughs> banter in the chat. Uh, I hate that when I mount up, I can't use my dismount ability immediately, but whatever. Don't know why there's a cooldown on it. Especially if I only want to walk a few feet, but there it is. <laughs> Uh, why do people- why would he call me that, man? That's like- Dude, I have people that- like, I get it, I'm a YouTuber, I'm kind of like a micro-celebrity in these games, and I have people that hate on me so darn much for nothing. Like, I- like, I put out a guide in an MMORPG how to farm something, and then people get super pissed off because it like, now everyone knows how to farm it, and then they don't get the secret to themselves anymore or something weird, right? And, uh, <laughs> look, damn, this is giving me good XP, man. I'm about to level up. Oh yeah, we gotta kill these little shrines first. Everyone always attacks the boss first for some reason, because they don't know the, mecha the mechanics. Alright, let's smash that dude. He's bleeding out. Go get this. <laughs> Dang, do I have to kill all the shrines, man? Come on. Uh. Alright, just kind of whirlwind this dude down. And uh, fresh legions have joined the battle. They're all going that way. I'm going to go this way. We got to break off. If we Like, here's the, the trick for these is splitting up is the way to go, man. Uh, I wish that guy would have continued to banter. <laughs> uh, look at him over there. He's like his little necromancer, the timid class. Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. Necromancers are cool. Okay. Necromancers, you know. <laughs> I'm just trying to bully guys. I'm just trying to be an e-bully. Just let me be a big bully barbarian, man. That's my dream. I just want to be a big muscled chad, you know, and be like, I'm so big and strong, dude. What are you going to do about little little twerp, little... Necromancer dweeb, you know, like think about it like all the all the Diablo classes. They're in school together The barbarian is gonna be the one pushing the necromancer into the toilets, okay? I'm just saying, you know, the necromancer he's gonna scheme behind uh, behind the barbs back, you know You know, maybe play a prank with the skeletons or something But the barbs just gonna shovel him in a locker and laugh about it and then uh, you know go out with this the sorceress Stacy <laughs> Oh Yes Good stuff indeed. Good stuff. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, we we're two out of three. We have 25 seconds to kill the remaining dudes. There we go. Let's get here. And then when this guy pops out, that should be... Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. So that starts the timer over. And, you know, we, we just kill everything. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the damage I do compared to these other dudes. It's so, so good. Um, guys, you gotta go down here. Bros? Hello? And, yeah, we're just gonna spin this up. And down it goes. Now we can kill the boss, guys. They're all over here pounding the boss. Alright, let's build up our fury. There we go, now it's dead. Now get back on your mount. And, uh... <laughs> Oh, man. You know, I'm gonna say right now, Albion Online is amazing practice for playing this game. It is just so good. Alright, so this guy's gonna hoop out, slay the overlord. There's Scourge of the Land. There we go. Just focus. Look at that. Just dump, dumpster him. Dumpstering the ads, at least. And, uh, yeah. Let's, we're gonna get three chests for this. That's why we do it. That's why it's worth doing. And just spam my war cries. Standing in the poison. And we have a minute and 35 seconds to do this. He's staggered. By the way, my build, I haven't talked too much about my build, but it is a stagger build whenever I'm out of fury. When I do have fury, it's not a stagger build, but... All right, there we go. Boss is dead. He's just got to bleed out and poison out. And one, two, and three chests. Yes. So this is why I come here, guys. Because it is just that good. All right. Back to the PvP zone we were at. And yeah, awesome stuff. And Such, you made it in the video. I'm not racist just because Reddit, some random haters got kicked out of my Discord because they were sniffing diapers at a furry convention. Want to falsely flag me as, as racist doesn't mean I'm not. I'm not. It's it, white versus black, east versus west, doesn't matter. It's a, it's a minor issue. It's rich versus poor. It always has been rich versus poor. It is not about skin color. If you're from the west coast, east coast, it's about who has a lot of money and who doesn't. I grew up insanely... Mega super poor, and that is good. Those are good gloves, actually. But it's only one out of two whirlwinds, so they're not good enough to keep. And what is that pole arm? 
Don't need that. E oh, no, no, no. We, we salvage. We don't sell. There we go. Sell that. And then log out. Log back in so I have the zone to myself. I know, right? And yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of cheating, but it's kind of not. And we're going to get back in there now and farm more shards, which was what we were originally going to do. Good times indeed. Let's see. Any new YouTube comments while we load? Uh, nope. Okay, cool. It's early. It's early morning. It's like 943 in the morning my time. So, uh, okay. of course, oh, we got a flag up. You can do that on your mount, by the way. You can you can flag up PvP while mounted. Always fun. No chest that time. There's no chest there. Weird. That is that's such a common chest. And uh, it's, it wasn't there. All right. But we're, check this one here. There's the baleful chest. Open her up. Scoop up all the goods into our dimension pocket. <laughs> uh, one one point eight thousand shards in seconds. Oh, you'll love to see it. There was some shiny ore there in the corner, but I'm not gonna grab it. I'm gonna, you know, check these two corners for a chest. No chest. And then check this ridge at the top. No chest up there. Check this little hole on the side, and there we have the next chest. Very cool. Go ahead and grab the seeds. We're grabbing seeds, boyos. Oh, uh, that's that's a lot of elites. Kill, kill the elites. Get them, down them, defeat them. They are defeated. Are the battle is victorious? You know, play the the, the theme song. Grab some iron chunks. We'll need those one day when we potion craft. I'm sure of it. <laughs> and go ahead and go in the cave. Oh, we got more ore. Ore in the cave. We're mining. You know, I miss the old days of MMORPGs. I know this is not an MMORPG, but I play MMORPGs because they're the most long-term game to play that you can just master and play for years. And I love that about those kinds of games. Uh, but do we have Seethe? Yes, we have a Seethe Beast on the map. I'm going to go kill that later. And I'm going the wrong direction, but it's okay. I can loop back around because there's the Baleful Chest, which, hey, that's a new one for me. I didn't know that there was a chest there. Now, now I'm glad I took a wrong turn. There's sometimes a chest there, sometimes a chest there, which there is. Very good, very good. Yes, yes. Give me all of the chests. I like small chests, big chests. Um, I don't, I don't know if I like flat chests. <laughs> I'm talking about video game treasure chests. Google, please, YouTube, please, please spare me. I am but. A poor man. I make like $13,000 a year. <laughs> this is not sustainable. I'm gonna die. <laughs> and I'm not joking. I'm being real. Please, please, please give me a super chat. Super thanks. Become a channel member. Anything, please. I'm too autismal to accept sponsorship offers through email. And I get a bunch of them. Like, uh, like a company will email me, right? And they're like, hey, we really like your channel. You know, just some generic bullshit. They don't watch my channel. And they're like, would you like to advertise our gamer chairs? We'll, we'll send you a gamer chair. And, uh, you know, a ga I wouldn't mind a gamer chair, actually, because I sit in a very stiff wooden dinner table chair. Hurts my butt. <laughs> it's hurting right now. Okay, we gotta kill the Seethe monster. Yeah, he's Roman. Is he chasing somebody? And, uh... <laughs> And so I send them an email, I'm like, yeah, I'll shill it for you, but you gotta send it pre-assembled. And uh, they, they're like, well, it comes in a box, and it comes with an Allen wrench, you can build it yourself. I'm like, no, I'm not building it myself. And then I start asking them questions, I'm like, what do you like about my channel? What is my channel even about? Or I'll hint that my channel's about something random like cryptocurrency, and then they're like, oh yes, we love your cryptocurrency videos. And I'm like, psych, I never made a crypto video, you don't watch my channel, no, 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 you're a liar. Why would I? Why would I take a sponsor from a liar? That's a bad relationship, right? Just, just stuff to like burn every bridge I can because it's funny to me. Uh, <laughs> and they're they're cheap products anyway, right? Like I don't I don't like that when I watch YouTube videos where I'm watching a unless it's funny, okay? Like Internet Historian and a few others do it very very well. But uh, I'm not one. I'm not a comedian, man. Uh, I, I I am not a comedian at all, so it would not work on my channel. Hey guys that watch and play video games, wanna buy some stupid random products? Oh boy, link in the description. So instead, I just tell people, become a channel member. You get access to private, more personal videos, and um, eventually I'm gonna make members only videos for this game, but um, that's a long ways off because, uh, 
well, uh, I have to build the audience first <laughs> before I can make, you know, super secret videos too good for the public. Like, uh, like I cover a game called Albion Online, right? And I think I've talked about that already in this video, but I uh, I have a lot of members-only videos for that game because I'm, I'm the top YouTuber for that game. And if I put out a video that's like, hey, buy crossbows because the market's good on them or something, then every single person in the game will buy crossbows, and then the market would be ruined on crossbows. Uh, so I can't really, like, like a game like that, yeah, it's, some videos have to be members only, and it's, it's five bucks a month, okay? Yeah, right down here where my cursor's bouncing, there's a join button, and I'm sorry, but it's the only way I can actually, like, survive and eat food, okay? I'm very poor, I grew up dirt freaking poor, I'm not trying to, like, guilt you into donating, only donate if you're, like, one of those real-life chads that makes, like, a hundred thousand a year, you know, with your fancy office job, or... You know, your generational wealth or whatever. I don't know, man. But I'm sitting over here at 13k a year, bro. <laughs> it's over. I, I, you know, I'm in the red. I'm eventually going to run out and then, and then you'll have to figure out video games yourself or watch some other YouTuber. <laughs> okay. Uh, enough guilt in the audience. Stop it. Stop it. The audience doesn't care. Uh, let's uh, vendor, 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 vendor. And, uh resets and leave game and then we're gonna go right back into the game once again and there's our barb he's puffing his chest he's cracking his neck and his uh his shoulder if we do one little rotation just just give me one little autismal spin there you go very cool and then back into the game we go <laughs> i can't be the only one that does this okay if you it's like the perfect gym from diablo 2 you know you click the per dude why isn't there a gym in diablo 4 to click diablo 3 had one i, I think but, uh, <laughs> we need a gem to click, damn it, Blizzard. Fix this. Fix this now. Well, I demand a refund <laughs> for the game that was gifted, by the way. Thinking I could afford a video game. Are you, are you crazy? I can barely afford, like, rice. Expired bag of rice. Expired pinto beans. <laughs> Not even cooked pinto beans, bros. You gotta soak them for, like, a day. Just to make them edible. Oh, woe is me. Oh, poor Benji. Oh, way. Gamer's life. I have, that's what I've chosen. I've chosen the gamer's life. And, uh, you know, there's no way out. There is, there is, um, there is no way to get an education. <laughs> uh, someone so unhinged as myself can't even survive in retail or fast food anymore. Oh, God. Dude, if I would, if I went back to retail or fast food, I would be surrounded by Zoomers that would just, like, they would make me, like, say their pronouns or something. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. And they'd be like, they'd call me in the office, like, so Benji, you didn't call that person a, a Zimzer. And I'm like, no shit. And then they would just fire me. But no, it's not even that. Like, I'm cool. I, I'm I'm always cool with coworkers, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm very charming in real life. I can make friends. I'm sociable. I'm not that awkward, okay, unless I really want to force the awkwardness just to be funny. Uh, can I please get on my mount in like seven seconds? These spiders are just trying to—they're trying to hold me down and have their way with me, and I'm—I'm I'm not about that right now. You know, darned spider bros—they think they can just get away with it. But um, <laughs> no, it's—it's it's always like a, a thing of justice. Like, I don't know about you guys and in, in what part of the world you're in, but uh, where I'm from, there's a massive problem with crime right now. And yes, I live in a ghetto. Of course, there's gonna be always crime, but. It's crime that goes unpunished, okay? Back in my- back in the early days of retail, if someone shoplifted, and I don't mean a guy that steals like a package of chicken, okay, or a rotisserie chicken or whatever, I'm talking a dude that loads up an entire shopping cart with thousands of dollars worth of televisions and electronics, and, uh, you know, like energy drinks and steaks and detergents, okay? Those kinds of dudes. Uh... And then they just walk out the front door. They don't, like, run out the door. They just walk out and smile and wave at you. Like, haha, see you later, sucker. <laughs> Why are you buying groceries in 2023, dude? <laughs> Why am I? Uh, and, uh, and, and, you, and you just follow. You don't, like, you know, not talking crap to them. You know, not tackling them or anything drastic. Just, you just follow them to their car and write down their license plate. That's fireable. That is absolutely fireable. And then, you know, the, the big corporations are like, oh, it's just merchandise. Who cares? You know, it's just merchandise, bros. So what? Yeah, so what that, um, you know, if you're the manager of the store and you get all your hours cut and you have to do the job of eight people. <laughs> oh, oh man. Instead, I, uh, I'll just, I'll just play video games and if I become a big YouTuber one day and make it, 
uh, then then I'm out of poverty, and then I can maybe help other people get out of poverty by teaching them how to be YouTubers, which uh, I would love to do. But I'm only going to do it to people that I consider my friend. And um, I'm going to say it right now. Like, the whole point of me becoming a YouTuber was to make friends. It wasn't to make money. It wasn't to get views. All the videos on my channel, including this one, are just videos to myself. Yeah, I watch my own videos. I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I'm weird. Um, <laughs> so, um, because I don't have any friends, I just have a conversation with myself most of the time. I could be driving down the road and... And, uh, it's not my car, it's my girlfriend's car. I know, I, I don't have a working vehicle, guys. Please help. Mr. Beast, donate me a car. <laughs> no, I, I would rather work for Mr. Beast and earn my car, but you you know what I'm saying, bros. There's no Seed Beast on the map, so we can just go turn in these 9,000 shards. It's whatevs. Uh, kill the elite stuff. <sighs> what was I talking Man, I already forgot what I'm talking about, bro. I'm so bad at holding a conversation with myself. I know, I know, right? Oh, man. Let's go turn in the shard. Oh, there's a bit. Oh, there's a chest here. New chest discovered. Yes, thank you. Thank you, chest. Mwah. I will collect you on my new route to the middle. I can't believe I've missed that one so much. I've done so many runs and I've never seen that one there. All right, let's turn this bad boy in. Sorry for the dead air. I hate to do that, but it's 31 minutes in the video. You probably didn't leave. <laughs> Talking constantly can really, really hurt the esophagus, though, or something. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> Someone's going to quote me on that. Uh, what else? What are we doing? What are we doing now? All right. We're smashing. We're smashing little creatures with our big stick, big heavy stick, and then we spin a little bit and slice them up. Smashing and slashing. That's that's what. Do you like to smash things? Do you like to slash things? Then play a barb. Very fun. Very cool. Very manly. You know. Oh, I'm insecure about my manhood. Play the big strong guy. Uh, play the big strong dude. <laughs> okay, well, that's more shards completed. And I'm gonna kill these even though I'm not turning the shards in. Keep hitting all my keyboard buttons. You can see it on the screen. Just like, just just freaking piano the keys. Okay, let's get back to town. Come on now. Let's go. Giddy up, partner. <laughs> uh, we got more farming to do, boyos. Boyos. Indeed. And sell the rares. Look, all these rares. Not a single legendary. What's going on with that? I wonder why. Well, more money for me. Cool. And, uh, yep, that's that. Time to get a new map and get those chests and farm more shardy shard shards. I didn't do a spin. Oh no, I'm gonna have bad luck or something. I don't know. Is that is that what people say or do? <laughs> Man, I wish I remember what we were talking about. Oh yeah, like shoplifters and stuff, right? So when people mass shoplift a store, I mean like thousands of dollars out the door, the next week, less hours get allocated, okay? And um so the manager, which which I used to work in retail and I was one of the managers, and uh <laughs> Less employees means more work for you. No chest. And it sucks. It is a nightmare. It, like, you're getting screamed at it from all ends. Customers, employees, uh, corporate. There's no winning. There's just only suffering and pain. And uh, the whole thing about not being able to pursue an education. I'm, I'm freaking stupid, guys. Like, I am a big dumb idiot. <laughs> I, You know, it takes a real man to know, like... <laughs> That you're not smart enough to pursue educational, like, you know, things. Did I not stay logged out long enough? I don't think I stayed logged out long enough. Because none of the chests are here. Not a single one. Yeah, I don't think I logged out long enough. Dang. Okay, we gotta go back to town. <laughs> and log out and do a spin. <laughs> Damn it. More time. Or maybe I farmed every single instance already. And there's no more fresh ones for a little bit. I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, is there no see the monster on the map? You know, it's just whatever. Come on, horse. You're like, the horse just feels slower and slower every, every time I play. All right, let's step on the waypoint here. Just step on it. There we go. And then we're going to log out. And then we're going to wait. We're going to do We're going to let the barb flex and do his little idle animation that he does every single time. And we, oh, look at that little spine sword. 
And then, there we go. We did a spin, and now we go back in. Uh, error! No! <laughs> let me in! Why you not let me in? What do you mean there's an error? Come on, bros. There we go. Took a, The spin was cursed. It took three errors to pop back in the game. All right, but uh, yeah, and, and like I said, if you if you even talk to the shoplifter or anything, they fire you. They just they're like afraid. They're afraid of, like the shoplifter is privileged and gets to steal from the store, and then you have to work extra hours to make up for all the hours that all your friends lose. Do that here. And then fast food is the same way, dude. People will just walk in and then steal drinks. They will walk in with like a like a freaking giant water chug jug. <laughs> okay. And then they will just go fill up on Baja Blast. They're just like, you know what, bros? You know, instead of being like a sneaky Redditor with like a backpack mechanism that fills up a fake cup full of it. Nah, they just get a, ch a giant freaking like bucket. And they just fill that shit up. And then they just smile and laugh about it. And then you can't be like, um, sir, sir, can you not do that, please? You know, that's for guests. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, like, uh... Uh, the newest f thing is the, like, the food delivery bullshit, you know, like the, uh, this is gonna make a lot of people angry, but if you, if you fucking order food online, like Grubhub and, and, and Uber Eats, dude, you're rich as hell, you should donate. Click the thanks button down below, click the join button down below, bro. Like, you're paying 20 bucks to have some, some stranger deliver you food. <laughs> what the hell is that about? That's crazy. But, um... Yeah, so what happens is people just come in and they look at the, there's like a little food rack at almost every restaurant, fast food place, whatever you want to call it, and um, th that, that's where like the to-go orders are, and they're within customer reach, which is super freaking weird, right? I guess, you know, th they care more about convenience than safety or whatever, <laughs> and um, well, what happens is, oh, there's the baleful chest, grab that one, I don't think I scouted that one last time, so I might have missed that. But, um, yeah, people will just come in that obviously didn't put it in order and just take whatever it is and eat whatever it is, and it's free. And, uh, like, one guy, I know, he got fired because, um, he looked at the security cameras, uh, because it was a guy that came in, like, multiple times a day taking orders that he didn't put online. He would just come in, take the bag, and leave, like, three times a day. So they, t the, they got the security footage, and they, you know, they showed his picture, and then they printed it, and then hung it up near the, the food shelf. You know, is like, uh, to try to ward him off. Obviously, it didn't. He, did, he didn't give a shit. He just kept coming in and stealing regardless. <laughs> and, uh, corporate, like, like the, uh, the thief, uh, he, him or his friends or somebody called corporate and is like, um, yeah, you, you can't do that. You know, that's like, um, yeah, I don't know. They were like, oh, that's, that's bullying or something. I don't know. And then they fired him because, well, it's shaming a thief, you know, publicly, which I guess, you know, they don't want you doing. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I think it's stupid. And yes, I know I have a Paragon point to, to blow. Um, <laughs> oh, we got a legendary or a, a unique, unique sword, guys. I'm. Hey, don't dismount me. I'm just here to steal your loot. Is it? Uh, what is it? What do we have? Oh, I have one of these. Now I have two. Cool. Uh, I think you need two for the build. Actually, I don't think you can equip both. Maybe you can. I can try that out later. Yeah, these guys are beating on me, but I'm like a barbarian, so I'm super tough. <laughs> also, I'm very angry because I'm a barbarian. So, there you go. All right, and uh, is this also peripheral? Yeah, I mean, the skill usage is. I don't. Oh, that, that's actually decent item power from for my level, sort of. We're farming. I have ten thousand shards, and I'm not even halfway done with the run. That's crazy. It's a good run. Good run indeed. You know what? I should probably start grabbing this Blight Shade every time I run by it because Blight Shade is going to be super useful later on. I assume I haven't really done the crafting yet, but uh, it doesn't hurt. Altar, Altar of Extraction. Orvane. Altar of Extra Extract this. Extract my booty. Uh, skeleton, can you move? I'm trying to ride here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Skeleton. Ooh, these guys are just nice and stacked up for me, bros. They're just here. I have not seen another player. Come on, where are you? Why is that one not dying? Hello? Did he? Oh, he's like bugging out or something. What the hell? Weird. Weird indeed. 
All right, let's ride to the. Is there a is there a seethe beast on the map? Nope, no seethe beast. Real shame, you know, no seethe beast. Also, you know, I have a I have a, a build that lowers my cooldowns when I crit, and I wonder, does that lower the mount's uh, cooldown? Because that would be cool. That would actually kind of be overpowered in PvP when you think about it. You know, j just a little think about it. All right. And there was no chest in that spot that we had learned about. Okay, almost 11,000 seeds this time. Not bad. And what about our uniques here? Let me just read them. Uh, not really. Let's see. Don't need that. Hurt and legendaries. I keep... That's the unique down here. This this bad boy. So, uh... Doesn't look like good rolls, actually. I think it's 13, 10... Oh, 10 on the fizz damage, but who cares? And I need strength. I need strength near on, on my nodes. There's a strength node. I think I, I'm pretty sure I take that one. Let me check. Um, it, yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> yes, I do take that one. I was checking my notes, guys. I know I'm a, I'm a gamer, Bran. You know you don't want to just pick randomly on the damn Paragon board. You want you want to have your notes, bros. You, you gotta have those notes. We're farming PvP shards. Oh yeah, smash them, grab them, kill them. I don't know why I shouted there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Barb. Your shout was unheard by anybody. Let's get back to town and sell, sell, sell. Oh boy. We're selling. Oh boy, here I go selling again. <laughs> oh. Alright, break break it down. Break down those boots. Kachinga. And sell the weapons we have that one nice and tucked away in the corner so i can sell all these and let's see vaughn damage nope okay uh pretty crappy ring and then we go leave game and then there we go bros we are gotta do the spin let the barb crack his neck you know flex his shoulder because he's a sore boy you know just fart into the uh, into the camera and he's like i didn't do it you did it and then we're going to face this. We're going to face to the right this time. And then we're going to start the game. Look at that nose profile, man. <laughs> I mean, it's part of the mask, so it's whatevs. Yes, we are. We are epic farming. Epic farming of the red dust shards. Yes, indeed. Good to sir. Flag up for PvP. Mount up and let's ride out and do it all again. I'm up to 160,000, which is a lot of gambles. Man, oh man, is that a lot of gambles. Uh, very plentiful gambles, indeed. And there's the first baleful chest. Ooh, he's got those seeds, those hate seeds. Come here, my little quill rats. Although these are called razor spines, which, if I remember from Diablo 2, razor spine was just the advanced, like, species that you found later on in also Act 1, or maybe Act 5. I don't remember, but, uh, you know, it, it is a reused name, so to speak. Uh, let's see. Am I missing one in the corner? Let me consult my map. I, no, I don't. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm I'm doing all right. Let me make sure my recording software isn't bugging out. Dude, I hate. Like, okay, this is a YouTuber rant, but um, you ever like, you film like a two-hour-long video and then you realize that your recording software bugged out like ten minutes in because you didn't check on it, and then the entire like thing you had to you just had to scrap the whole damn thing and start over. That's a whole wasted day right there. That's a whole wasted day. But but you're playing a video game. It's not wasted. Yeah, yeah, well, it kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is, you know, and I I kind of pathed it incorrectly. Still no chest in that corner. What is going on? But this one's got it. Yeah, this one's got the heavy boots. They're so heavy, you know. If they're truly really... Are they heavy for my barbarian? He's a, he's a wimp. I love the smiley face. It makes me smile every time. There's the eyeball. And then my cursor's the nose, and his little happy face, and then there's the chin. Look, he's got the Chad jawline. Bros, this is the Chad... <laughs> the Chad face. <laughs> my god, how could people... How could people watch me? I'm so cringe, bros. <laughs> I'm, I'm just too... I'm, I'm too cringe for this world. Someone has to take me out. Ugh. Oh, maybe one day I can be... I can be your favorite cringe YouTuber that you can watch, and, and you'll feel better about yourself. You're like, well, at least I'm not so bingy. And then one day, I can be the real Chad YouTuber. Oh, Baleful Chest there. I've never seen it spawn there. That's cool. Gimme, gimme. Shards of plenty. I don't know about plentiful shards. 
Come on, mount. Scoot your butt. Let's go. Stop being slow. I I've been running this mount to the bone. I mean, he's literally like a ghost undead creeper mount. This one kind of looks like a little, like, like a sleeping face and is like, like a big nose and like, like he just ate something delicious or something. I don't know, man. That's just how, that's just, I just see faces and junk, dude. I know there's a word for that. I'm not going to look it up. I don't care enough. You can look it up if you, if you really care, but please continue to watch the video while you do so. Don't leave. Guys, no, don't leave. Please, no. Oh, please. P -p -p please. There is a chest up there. I'm gonna grab it. Oh, yes, I'm grabbing. Grabbing the baleful chests. Amulet. We got an amulet, boyos. I gotta check it because I have a crappy amulet. Uh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, that sucks. Wait, what's the, what's the thingy? Unstoppable? Who cares? I already have... Wait, what, what is it? I, oh, iron skin. I can't use that with it until my build is complete. And I think it's nerfed. And I, I have to not ever be able to use iron skin. We nerfed your build, bro. Haha. Huh, huh. huh. Hey, I can't reharvest that plant. What's going on here? What's up? I haven't killed anything in a while, so let's kill these dudes. Just grab some some good old fashioned seeds. Yep. I just imagine that just you kill someone for their seeds. It's like Tank Girl. You kill someone for a cup of water. Jeez. Like you would think life would be more valuable than a cup of freaking water. Like, a cup of water will keep you going for maybe, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> your life is worth 20 minutes, bro. That's what you're saying. That is what you're saying. I wish I could be an undead. I've had this conversation with my girlfriend. It's like, and I don't mean, like, in a stupid, like, uh, Twilight kind of thing. Uh, I mean, like, I want, like, the coolest character I've ever played in a video game, ever, is my rogue from World of Warcraft. Nothing has ever been so damn smooth and cool and just freaking awesome. So if I could be anything and people are like, what should be super bad, dude? What should be bleh? It's like, no, I want to be a level 60 tier two undead rogue from World of Warcraft. That would be so awesome. I got to check down here. Oh, there's the chest. Almost missed you. We got 11.2k seeds this time. No, oh, there is a seed monster. We gotta go kill him, because that's, that's a good chunk. Also, I bet he drops, like, a unique that only he can drop, and I want it. All right, dismount attack. Let's go. We're fully buffed. We're fully pumped. We got all of our buffs. We got full freaking fury. We got barrier active. No, no, no fortify yet. But we're not really hurt, so it's kind of hard to get fortify. All right, smash into him, and I did not get a lot of crits there. That's, that's fine, man. It's whatever. Can't always expect it, you know, crit all the time. All right, smash into him. Get our cooldowns. Spin, spin and smash. I need more crit chance. I need the damn crit implicit for a whirlwind to be higher. Um, also, I need I need to start leveling my glyphs. I'm starting to feel a little weak, boyos. Seething abomination. You are always worth farming because no one ever comes for you. No one ever does. I don't know why. I, I hate that his death animation takes so damn long. So dramatic. All right, that's 12. That's worth 12 elites. So we're at 14,000. Also, there's an S here. You see it on the map? See the little S? <laughs> uh, go go to the S spawn, guys. That's what they're going to call this one, the middle. Now, they're going to do it by clocks. Like, if you're in some sort of pro, you'll be like, okay, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, middle, 6 o'clock. Oh, go, go, go to town, go to 9. PvP event, 40 seconds. Uh, I don't have anything. No good drops ever. That's uh, that's because I'm in the wrong world tier. I should be in world tier four by now. I'm way too OP. I know I'm only 61, but uh, I've I've got like all the skill points. I, I one shot everything. Like if you're one shotting everything, like even if I run a, one of these nightmare thingies, which I don't, I got a few on me. These are ugh, these are like ones I looted off the ground from some other player. <laughs> uh, the nightmare sigils, the nightmare dungeons. Like I can run a nightmare dungeon that's like 30 or 40 levels higher than me, and I still one shot everything. So. <laughs> It's time for me to go to World Tier 4. Maybe that'll be like, oh, World Tier 4 PvP. It's where it's at, bros. All the best skilled players ever, dude. And there we go. Ritual complete. That was 14k. That is four and a half gambles. Ooh, we got plants. Give me the Life's Bane. Yes, indeed. Life's Bane. Good for... It's good for you. <laughs> Life's Bane, brother. And then uh, more gold. Someone needs to, like, let me know in the comments how much XP did I farm... How much gold did I make selling all this junk? Like, look at that. 
and then we're gonna you know of course break that down with our salvage bro there we go and then log out and then we do the spin on the character creation screen or the character select screen only one character man one tricking one trick barb you know what man i wish i could have the look, he's kind of sweating bros but i want arms that big man my arms are half as big i am so jealous i am i am uh, i'm over here uh you know mirin <laughs> uh all right lads i think this is the last farm run and then we'll see how many we earned and yes i'm aware that i i did a little 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 event in the corner of the map but those things are so worth going to most of the time i didn't get anything good there's no other like real events going on right now i can go down here and do the the purify thing i haven't done that today go up here and do all this freaking uh if you really want to min max your like gear you should always do whispers of the dead for the highest tier you have unlocked every single day just do them until the map is empty <laughs> don't do them in the lower tiers though all right give me that baleful chest oh yeah give me that baleful baleful of hay <laughs> what does baleful mean i gotta google that later it's a baleful chest bros that means it's like haunted or spooky or full of dookie it's full of blood and gooey stuff but hey like okay here's the thing right Apparently these are seeds of hatred, and you're getting like hundreds of them. Like I opened the chest and almost a thousand spill out on the ground, right? Are you telling me that my barbarian is kneeling in the desert in the dirt, picking up one seed at a time with his like plate gauntlets? Or are they even plate? I mean, they're yeah, they're 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 kind of maybe maybe they're leather. I don't I don't freaking know. But he he is he is picking up these little seeds that just shot out of a chest on the ground, all. 1,000 of them, and of course, okay, maybe he's got a dimensional hole and they just get sucked in. You know, you, you can you can use the magic excuse because there is magic in the game, obviously, so it's whatevs, but, um, you know, <laughs> at least that's how it's done in anime these days. They just, like, open a dimensional hole and suck all the items in. Dang, all sacred rare drops. That's cool. Those spiders were, like, Gucci spiders. Those spiders just went to Prada. And went shopping. And there's the happy face, guys. Happy face. He's he's got the chat jaw. He's got the he's got the chin dimple. Oh, and the happy face makes me happy. So I always point it out for all of my bros. Whoa, we got some dudes at the door. They're guarding the door. They're like, hey, you can't come in this cave. We're sick of you plundering all of our seeds. Also, why do the enemies have it? It's not like they're allowed in town. It's not like they can go to the vendor and spend it. You know. Or maybe they can, you know? And we're just kid Like, uh, they're pretending to be the player character, right? The Wreck-It Ralph situation. Excuse me, you guys are just kind of clumped together here? The free XP, thank you, yes. Axe. Not the body spray, but the actual weapon. Glinting. Alright, we got we got a little bit of some troublemakers here. We're just going to grab the seeds. And, uh, no ch Man, I haven't seen the chest in spawn inside the cave in a while. Something's up. Something's up, chest bros. Put chest down there. Let's uh, let's go over here. And uh, yes, chest here. Chest armor sacred. Uh, my chest armor is unique, but I'm still gonna check it. That sucks. Wow, that sucks. Dexterity. Don't need it. Don't want it. Sure, it might be good for some other build, but I don't care. I'll farm it for my other builds when I get there. Um, is this this is not an event? These are just regular mobs. We're just farming. Oh, oh, I'm getting hurt! Wow, that's the first time I got hurt. The in oh yeah, there's uh, potion cooldowns uh, in the PvP zone. You can't just spam them after getting blown up by monsters. All right, seeds of hatred. We're at 10k. Woo! Ding ding ding! 10k winner. 10k winner. No chest down, down there either. Come on, bro. What is happening? No chest there. There's sometimes one over in this corner. Nope. If only you little quill rats were uh, just a little bit more bunched together, I could have smashed. But instead, I'll pass. I'm swiping left or right. I don't have a... F okay, for those new to my channel, I don't own a cell phone. I am, I am that poor in real life, bros. I don't own a cell phone. I am like freaking poor as heck and then here's the here's the real actual truth though why do you need a cell phone if you have no friends and no family and no job oh i remember what we were talking about earlier it's uh, the capacity for education so 
a few things. I'm a big dumb idiot, and uh, even if I study for years, which I have, you know, trying to learn certain basic things required to, you know, get an educational certificate, uh, I just can't do it. I've hired tutors, paid, you know, thousands for that when I worked a job. And, um, you know, read every book in the library, did online courses, watched endless YouTube videos, and my brain just doesn't get certain aspects of certain things. So I'm just screwed. I cannot get the education required to get a normal, wagey office job. So, and because I don't know a guy, I literally can't get a livable wage job. And don't be like, oh, just go work for McDonald's. McDonald's is not a livable wage. It's never been a livable wage. Is there a sea the monster on the map? Uh, well, I'm way zoomed out. Nope, no see the monster. So we got 12k here. And, you know, we can do another run. That was only... That, that run only was six minutes. Well, it's gonna be seven because of the PvP event timer, but... Seven minutes for 12k. That's four gambles every 12 minutes. That's, uh, that's like... Almost 16 or 20 gambles per hour. It's not bad. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. 174, 151. Damn, son. Damn, son. Doing all right. Uh, what is this? Slay 5,000 demons. Oh, we did it. We got some achievement. I, man, achievements are so dumb. <laughs> so, the one guy that's watching the video that's like an achievement hunter. He's got like an Xbox gamer account with like a million gamer score or whatever. He's like, ah, fuck you, Soul Benji. And he closes the video. Sorry, bro. <laughs> fuck achievements, though. I'm old school, man. <laughs> I don't have enough fury. I'm a barbarian. I need fury, bro. So give me more fury. Let me hit things. Smash, smash. Just, uh, bro, just think about, like, the, the end cell years, okay, Barb? Just think back when you were a teenager and none of the girls loved you and everyone rejected you and just get full fury rage beater. Do it. <laughs> uh, we still have that unique. Uh, let's check the, 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 the legendaries real quick. Hello, blacksmith? You better talk to me. Each point of fury you generate as, yes, that's actually good. I need to uh, disenchant that or break it down. Whatever, you, you know what I'm saying. That's not something I use, and that is not something I use either. But are they any good as items? No, they're not. So see you later, chest and weapon here. And then we shall... Where's, where's the dang weapon master? There you go. Sell all the things, and then we sell all the things, and even the gems, because I don't care about the gems. Awesome. All right. And uh, you know what? I think we're just going to end the run here. Let's tally up our earnings. And if you want to see how much gold I earned, rewind the video. I don't remember. And if you want to see how much XP I earned, well, it's, I don't know, maybe like 50% of a level or something. That's That kind of sucks per hour. It's not, it's not good XP. But let me, let me pop the screen up. 186, 309. So red shards earned. And I know this wasn't a full hour run. Because I did go do something else for a little bit. I'm going to pop a calculator. 186, 309. And then subtract by 1112, 100. And that is how much we earned. 74, 209. And then we're going to divide that by 3000. So that is 24.7 gambles. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let me, uh, there we go. That is the data. Uh, you know, some people, they just skip to the end of the video. And that's all they care about. Whatever. I know it's not exactly one hour. Pants? Come on, pants. I don't need pants. I need cap. I need cap and glove. I need waiting for those to light up and be shimmery. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed me farming red shards. I thought that I would get to go dumpster some people, you know, doing PvP, but there's just no one here at all. Uh, partly because of me manipulating the game, but don't worry too much about that, you know. You just close a few ports. You just kind of do a little bit of alteration. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how to close ports. I'm not using any third-party program. I'm not cheating. All I'm doing is logging out in the town and logging in, and then it just gives me a fresh zone with nobody here. I don't know why that is. I didn't make the game, so don't don't get mad at me. I didn't do it. <laughs> Go ahead and store that. There we go. I'll store that for now because I still got to break that down. Um... <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. That's like a catchphrase here on the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, let me. I read every comment, so feel free to leave a comment. Uh, let me know why that one guy thought I was uh, being a doo-doo head uh, in the chat or way earlier in the video. I don't know what was up with him. Uh, you know, send him a tell if you see him in the game. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> 
um, you know, don't forget to like the video. And um, if you want to subscribe, hey, I appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 100K. And so I'll get that little plaque, that little, like, thingy they mail you if you get 100K subs. That would be that would be my only achievement in life. I know that sounds sad and depressing and pathetic, but hey, it'll, it'll be like a real-life achievement. You know, real-life achievement hunter. Let's go. Um, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you click that video, the next day you're going to be eating the most delicious sandwich you've ever had. But if you don't click it, then uh, next time you go to Subway, they're going to forget a couple ingredients. And you're going to get pissed off because it's a long drive. And you're going to get home and open your sub sandwich. And you're going to be like, it's missing the sauce. A dry sandwich sucks. Damn it, Subway. Anyway, take care. I'll see you in the next video.